Hello everyone. Welcome to BISP Solutions. I am Tanvi Arora, working as a functional consultant in BISP Solutions. In today's video, we are going to discuss about data management in ARCS. So we will go to our application. So from here, we will go to the navigation icon. And under integration, we are going to select the data management. So here you can see the two tabs, the workflow and the setup. We'll go to the setup tab first. Here you can see the source system and the target application. So we will define our source system. Now the source system shows you the available data options. So we will use file as our source system. Then next, we will go to our target application. The target application for data integration is Accounts Reconciliation Manager. The settings in the target application for the ARCS dimensions are automatically configured during allocation creation. Then in the next step, an import format is created to find a layout for source data files. So to create an import format, we will click on the add icon and give a name to our import format. Our source is our file. The file type, we will select delimited numeric data. We'll select our target application. It's Accounts Reconciliation Manager. And then we need to save this. Now, the next step is to map the fields on the source file to the mentioned dimensions in the target application. We can enter the mappings manually, or we can use the import format builder to map the same. The dimensions that are not present in the target application, we can add them from here. Okay, so I'll just open my Excel file and see my fields. So this is my Excel file. So in the first column, uh, there is profile ID. So I'll just copy this or I'll write the names manually. So the field number is one. The second column is my company. Field number will be two. The third column is the account. So here it is. Fourth column is the currency code. So it's not present here. So I'm just going to add this. And the last column is the amount. So once the mappings are done, we'll just save this file. So as you can see, it's showing here. After creating the import formats, 
we create the locations so we will go to the location tab and from here we will just select our location click on the add button provide a name to your location select your import format from here it's sam uh, sample one imf so i'm going to use this one the source is my file and the target application is my accounts reconciliation manager so i'm just going to save this location the next step is to go to the period mapping now the period mappings are used to map the source system period name and key to the target application periods and years so default mappings are already there during application creation based on the application calendar and we can also modify the mappings as needed then the next tab is the category mapping so the category mappings are used to map the source system data categories to the target application data categories so the next tab is the workflow tab on the workflow tab we will create data load mapping for each location data load mappings map source system member names for each dimension to the target file member names we will use a like mapping like mapping is done to ensure that the source system member names are same as the target member names so a star to star mapping is done here so first of all i have to check my pov whether it is correctly defined or not so my location is sample 1 loc period that i have selected is june 21 category is functional source of is my file and the target application is my accounts reconciliation manager now i will provide for the mapping rule name i can give any let's just save this then i'll change the dimension add now here the target value will be my source system as i'm going to import my source system balances into my application I'll just check whether all the mappings have been correctly done. I'll save it. 
Now, a data load rule will be created for the location that we have created. The data load rule specifies a data file to load into a selected category and period. So enter a data load rule name. Select the import format. And upload your file from here the Excel file that you have created. Then just save this. Now, once you have uploaded your file here, you just need to click on this execute button. Select import from the source. The period is June 21 and the end period is also June 21. So I'm just going to run this. Just click on the refresh button to get a check mark. The check mark means the import has completed without errors. So the process is done. Now we'll just save and close it. The next thing to do is to go to the data load workbench. Here you can see the two golden fishes. Uh, the first golden fish means the import has been done successfully and the second is for the validation. The file is validated. So uh, to view the data in the staging tables, we can verify from here, we can verify that the mappings of the source members to the target members are correct. Now for the ex export option, we have to go to the ARCS application. So to do the export, we have to go to the period. Choose the specific period. That is June in our example. Then from here, just click on this import data. Click on the add item. Just give a name to this. This is for the period June mode is snapshot. Now I'll just uncheck the in my box that I don't need here. So in file, I don't need all these things. I only need my sample one LOC. Then the next step is to just save it. So here you can see the progress. Just click on refresh until it's done completely. So the process has been completed without any errors.
Now we will just go to our application and check whether the data has been imported in the application or not. So you can see these were our profiles, uh, 101, 10024, 25, and 26. And the balance has been imported in these 58,000, 60,000, and 65,000. I have imported only in the source system. So it's showing only in the source system. So this is how it's done. Thank you so much.